Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 6 meter boom AB has a fixed end A. A steel cable is stretched from the free end B of the boom to a point C located on the vertical wall. If the tension in the cable is 2.5 kN, determine the moment about point A of the force exerted by the cable at B. So we are given this 6 meter boom and which is supported at this free end by this cable which is acting from B to C and the tension in this cable is 2.5 kN in this direction and we are asked to find the moment of this tension in cable BC about this point A. So now as we know that the moment about point A can always be determined using the cross product and the cross product is always the position vector uh, cross multiplication with the force or tension. So we can say that the cross product of the position vector and the tension T in the rope will give us the moment about point A. So first of all we have to uh, show the moment at the tension in the wire which, which must be acting from B to A like this. So this is tension T and, and the magnitude of this tension is 2.5 kN. So this is 2.5 kN and we are required to find the moment about point A. Now we can choose this position vector. Uh, we, have, we have infinite number of choices to choose this position vector. We can, we can choose the position vector from A to B. We can choose a position vector from A to C or we can choose a position vector starting from A to any point on the line of action of this tension T which is acting from B to C. But now for this particular problem the easiest choice to choose this position vector will be from A to B since this position vector is only acting in the positive x direction. So we can say that this will be a position vector of B relative to A. So in order to find, in order to evaluate this cross product, we have to write this position vector and this tension T as a Cartesian vector in terms of I, J and K components. So we will write R of B relative to A, this vector will be equal to, so as we can see that this vector is R of B, we can say that this is R of B relative to A, we can say this is R of B relative to A. So whenever we find the position vector, uh, so what we do, what I normally do in my videos is that I start from, start motion from point A and move along the X, Y and Z to reach the other point. In this case, the other point is point B. So to reach this point B, we only need to move 6 meter distance in the positive X direction. So this means that the position vector of B relative to A is 6 meters in the positive i direction and its j and k components are 0. Since we do not need to move in the y and x direction to reach that point B, there is only one way to reach this point B from A and we, we only have to move in the positive x direction that is in the positive i direction. So to reach that point B, we only need to move 6 meter distance in the positive x. So we will write that the position vector of B relative to A is 6i plus 0j plus 0k and this is in meters. Now the second task is to write this tension T as a Cartesian vector. So we will write that this T vector is equal to, so we can say that this T vector, or let me write it here, so we can say that the T vector is equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from B to C. Since this tension T is acting at B and its direction is from B to C. So we can say that the magnitude is given which is 2.5 kN in the problem statement is said that 2.5 kN and the unit vector from B to C is the position vector from B to C divided by the magnitude of that position vector. 
and we can say that this is 2.5 kilonewton and now we have to find the position vector from B to C. So now we will start moving, we will start from B and we'll try to reach that point C by moving in the direction of X, Y and Z only since we want to write the position vector in terms of I, J and K components. So from B, we need to travel 6 meter distance, this 6 meter distance in the negative X. So I will write 6 meter distance in the negative X means in the negative I, so I will write minus 6 I. So I have reached here, then from here I need to travel 4 meter distance, 4 meter distance in the negative Z. This is the positive Z, so we need to travel 4 meter distance in the negative Z. So we will write that this is 4 in the negative k so 4 meters in the negative k and then from here we need to travel 2.4 meter distance in the positive j so we will write plus 2.4 in the positive j and now we have to find the magnitude so the magnitude is always the sum of the squares of the components and then taking the square roots so 6 square plus 2.4 square plus 4 square under the square root always gives us the magnitude. This is, we can always use the Pythagoras theorem to find the magnitude. So now the magnitude is, we can say 6 square plus 2.4 square plus 4 square. This gives me 7.6. So the magnitude is, this magnitude is 7.6. And this magnitude will be, since this is in meters, so the magnitude will be in meters as well. So we can say that this is, the magnitude is this magnitude is 7.6 meters so we can write that this is 2.5 and we can now divide each and every component by this magnitude so we can say this is minus 6 divided by 7.6 i plus 2.4 divided by 7.6 j minus 4 divided by 7.6 k so now we have to multiply this magnitude with each and every component. So we can say that this will be uh, 2.5 into minus 6 divided by 7.6 i plus 2.5 into 2.4 divided by 7.6 j and minus 2.5 into 4 divided by 7.6 in the k. So let's find all these products. So 2.5 multiply by so this gives us, since here we have minus, so this is minus 1.973i, this will be in kilonewtons. Then we have a 0 0.789j and then we have minus 1.316k. So this is the Cartesian vector representation of the tension which is acting from, from B to C. So now we can say that the moment at A is equal to the position vector of B relative to A cross product with tension T and we can always write this as a matrix determinant. This will be I, J and K. And in the second row, we have to write the components of the position vector. So 6, 0, and 0. So we will write 6. This is plus 6, 0, and 0. And in the third row, we have to write the components of the force, which, is, which in this case is the tension. So we will write minus 1.973, 0 0.789, and minus 1.316. So now we have to find this determinant. So to find this determinant, we can always write that this is. So for I, we have to hide this row, this column and this row. So this into this all becomes zero. So there is zero I. And then for J, we have to hide this and this. So six into this minus this. So we can, and with J, we always have to write minus sign. So minus and then we can say 6 into minus 1.316 minus 0 so for j hide this 6 into this minus 0 and similarly for k we have to hide this row and this column 6 into this minus 0 so we will write plus and this is remember j so for k we have to write 6 
into 0 0.789 minus 0 and this is k so let's find all these products so 0 i and 6 into 1.316 so this is 7.896 so this is 0 i minus into minus is plus and 6 into 1.316 is 7.896 and remember that the units will be in kilonewton meter since this tension is remember that this tension is in kilonewtons since the magnitude is given in two uh, in kilonewtons and these this is the units uh, unit vector so these units cancel out 7.6 is in meters and 2.4 and all these are in meters so we are ultimately left with kilonewtons so the tension will always be in uh, in kilonewtons so since this is the product of t and uh, position vector so this is kilonewton meter so the units of the moment will be in kilonewton meter so this is 7.896 in the j kilonewton meter and similarly 6 into 0 0.789 this gives us plus 4.734 k and this is the moment about point a and the units are in kilonewton meter similarly if you were asked to find the magnitude of the moment at point a so we can say that the moment magnitude at point a will be 0 square plus 7.896 square plus 4.734 square always using the pythagoras theorem that will give us the magnitude so this is 0 square plus 7.896 square plus 4.734 square this gives us 9.206 kilonewton meter so this is the magnitude of the moment about point a similarly we can find this moment if we take a position vector from a to c and that will give us the same result so you guys must try uh, this vector product the moment about point a will be equal to the position vector of c relative to a times t the cross product with tension t which is acting from b to c so you guys can use uh, the tension t the same vector that we have just determined and you guys must find the position vector of c relative to a and then using the determinant method uh, you guys must find the moment about point a and let me know in the comments if you people get the same moment about point a or not so i hope all this discussion will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by Baron johnston